The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info there's something something check out homework's morning sickness podcast at 98kupd.com a rainy day it's getting better though it's not so, so far i've been uh, paying attention nobody's killed uh, one another as much on the roads as i expected this morning everybody's kind of abiding although i may be speaking out of turn it just may not have been put out there just be careful yeah it was nasty this morning coming in that was you know 4:45. i was Cruising along that road and couldn't see a thing. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, we've got ourselves a Suns game tonight. Everybody's in Suns mood. You're in a basketball mood. But Brady brings up that we had a spelling bee the other day. And the girl is a classic dribbler. I don't know if that's, like, you know. Miss Avant-Garde. <laughs> yeah, Avant-Garde. It sounds terrible. Like she needs diapers or something. But she is, uh, you know, she'll be watching. So we're going to combine the two. And we're going to do a little basketball spelling bee with our friend Charles Barkley. And it'll be you versus another listener. This is how it works. And we'll give you a prize to something. I don't know what we got. Something good. I know I got one party sub gift card, and we're looking for other stuff. Don't worry stuff. about it. I'll find some stuff. stuff. We got comedy. Yeah, got I'll dig something stuff. up. I'm just not looking in the computer. It's empty. It's empty. We're a year removed from giving prizes away. We're still yeah. we're working our way back into that. Uh, but we're going to do that. If you want to play, 585-9800. Uh, Brett will have Suns tickets for you too. He'll pick whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. For game five. Brett will pick those up. <laughs> Brett's picking them I'll up. Pick them up at John's house. You got to spell uh, every word in the uh, dictionary correctly in five minutes or less. <laughs> Brett will put you in the front row. <laughs> Man, that would be great if some guy called up and did that. We'd do it. You can't be done. Uh, it's uh, 824. If you want to play, 585 9800. Our great uh, friend Charles Barkley will be here for the Barkley Basketball Spelling Bee. And on the heels of that, congratulations to the WNBA. Tonight, they have their big game, the All Star Game. The best, the best, and the brightest the WNBA has to offer at 4 p.m. Their All Star Game is on a weekday at 4 o'clock. So, no, it's <laughs> like, it's like a extracurricular it's a lacrosse at a high school. For the JV team. After school special. Yeah, the cruddy JV girl squad plays, and then the real guys come out and play a real game at the end. Uh, also, congratulations to the WNBA for shoehorning your way into something great and making everybody politically correct have to allow you to do it. They are on the cover of the NBA 2K video game that comes out. It is uh, Candace Parker. I so now you can – Doing a layup. I thought it was a joke. Yeah, and now you can they can put dunk. her in the uh, main lineup, right? Yeah, you she can, can play with the guys. Yeah, which I think if they wanted to make it authentic, and that's how you know it's garbage, is that if you like, you know, Chappelle said it. If if LeBron James played in the WNBA, he'd average 100 points a night, and like 68 rebounds. He'd kill. So the game should at least reflect back on that because there'd be nothing funnier, and no advocate for women or anything else would ever say it's possible. That LeBron coming in from the free throw line to dunk, or like when Johnson did the other night to uh, PJ Tucker, and you got a girl standing there in between the basket and that, the the game she might block the shot, and the world would do this <laughs> because everyone and I don't care like Gloria Steinem would be like, no way, we all know they got no business with it, but now no one's dreams have come true. We're in a video game. You can combine WNBA players with the NBA teams. <laughs> Nobody's requests have been answered by saying, why isn't there a WNBA girl on the cover? Put a WNBA game out by itself. They won't, and there's a reason why. Yeah. No one at all would f- buy it. It's a garbage product, and they keep Elbowing their way in. That's the first thing I think of when I think of NBA girl basketball exactly. player. Exactly. You think of the Stupid. W one. Yeah. I prefer 
MNBA. Why don't we throw an M in front of it? That, that at least keeps them out. I don't I, know. Maybe you got something there. Then next to the uh, fast pitch softball, 2K. <laughs> Right, yeah, they're going to put a, like, is Jenny Finch going to be in the you next MLB? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the great Vlad Jr. <laughs> and or rally up on that. Shohei Otani is standing up there and he's got to throw to some, he's got some girl throwing underhand at him at 60 miles an hour. Knock it off. You're not part of it. You're not part of it. You're not part of it. Brad Pitt wins an uh, Academy Award. The guy who held the, the microphone doesn't get one. And he doesn't bitch about it. He was on set. He helped make it work. He might get a tip of the cap and something like that. Like, hey, you're doing a nice job. Doesn't mean you're doing the same thing. Put your own game out. What you're doing is more sexist than it, anything else by saying, well, no one would buy it unless we glommed on to the men. It means you need men to make your product work, which means it is not female empowerment at all. It's the opposite. And the faster we recognize it, the faster that thing goes away. Although I am starting to enjoy it quite a bit because it's so bad, it's funny. Do they do it on the soccer? I don't know. No. The girls' the girls' soccer stands on its own. That's what I'm saying. They have a separate game on the um On girls? No. I doubt it. No, I don't think. I, FIFA is just all men right now. Yeah, I don't but think would be they like, have any girls' sports on PlayStation and Xbox and stuff. Good. I don't think. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I don't think they do. Because no one would buy it. Right. Soccer, maybe. Tennis, maybe. I mean, you get a few that you're actually they can stand on their own. You watch, but why would you play that when you can play, like Ronaldo? Why would I play the slow one? Like if it's Sonic the Hedgehog and he's got a broken leg, I'm not playing that. I'm playing the version where he's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. What's Sonic got a cast on? Oh, it's Girl Sonic. It's Sonica. Great. Ronaldo, we're gonna team you up with Rapino. <laughs> you get well. I'm gonna be waiting all day. Sonic's gonna be doing that thing where he taps his toe. Like, where is she? I'm like so much faster than her. <laughs> Hurry up, Megan Rapinoe. I'm just as fast as you. Uh, you're really not. So I just stop it. WNBA, I'm an advocate for women. This goes against everything you're trying to accomplish. It's the opposite of, uh, of empowerment. <laughs> we'll glom on to the men, and then people will notice us. How in the world is that an individual achievement? All right, sorry, I've gone off on a tangent with this goddamn WNBA 2K. Start your own game. Build your own goddamn golf course. The Masters was better before. We well, went on it. No. Build your own Masters. You know, most of these NBA teams always look for a good, we need two or three people on the team that's a, a solid set shot. No jump shot. Solid just, is the problem. Yeah, there. yeah. There's no solid. Yeah. Every WNBA You're not selling it. shooter <laughs> would have them shoved back in their face every time they set up that <laughs> shot. There'd, we get, no. there'd be 600 blocks a game. I've said it before. I think the WNBA would be interesting. Actually, my friend Colin brought this to me. He said, what if they played the Big Three, that league that the rappers started? And they had uh, Big Three, the old guys, like Cliff Robinson's in it, and like older players are playing three-on-three. And they're fun. They're good games. And by the way, each guy makes more than anybody in the WNBA, which is hilarious. It's more successful than the WNBA as far as the players are concerned. And then you put five girls out there against the three former NBA players. Maybe you got something. But as it stands right now, the last thing I want to do is watch girls play basketball against more girls. What the WNBA needs is men to make it watchable. I've said it for years. It's a big problem. It's a big dilemma in talent. Is that there's no dudes playing. It's horrible this way. Those guys in the Ice Cube League make more money than the WNBA players. Yeah. <laughs> Cube's League's fun. They're all high. They're just having the time of their lives. There's no time ever. The music's always on. They're playing half court because why wouldn't you? They recognize that hey, we're too old to go and pretend we're still pulling this off. We'll go half court. Our names are still viable. Let's get out there and have some fun. And it's street ball. It's fun. Anyway, sorry. Candace Parker doing a layup. And then the first time you're playing, <laughs> first time you're playing and she dunks, you're like, turn it off. Turn it <laughs> off. It's a fantasy game. This is, this is Dragon's Lair. <laughs> Might as well have a quest at the end of each dunk. <laughs> she dunked again. <laughs> If it's in the game, it's not in this game. Anyway, Barkley's basketball spelling be coming up. Suns win tonight. The series is a lock. Suns lose. The sky is absolutely falling. This is a this is a big teeter uh, teeter totter game. This is going one way or the other. Uh, if you want to play five eight five nine eight hundred, we're talking basketball. We're spelling it next. It's ninety eight. Yeah, I want it. You really, really, really 
want it? Yeah, I really want it. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.